All right. All right. Hi, we're live at Pacific Arts Market. We're here with Anna. Hi. And Meg. Hi. And these lovely ladies are going to be doing some awesome demos today. So I hope you tune in and enjoy and just have fun. This looks really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like we're going to have some messy yeah. fun times here. So. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'll let you to it. I'll be going on uh, live on Instagram sometimes and stuff too. So we'll have uh, just a lot of fun stuff happening uh, all afternoon here. All right. all right. Sounds good. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Today we are going to be playing around with paint and art, and uh, we got some really cool stuff. Uh, Megan here is going to be doing a liquid pouring using some awesome <laughs> colors she makes, and uh, I am just going to be doing some line art in the end. Um, yeah, so what are you excited to yeah. do today? So today we're going to be doing like a basic um, pour, which is like just a foot cut method. We're going to use these colors. So it's going to turn out something like this. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so that's what we do today. Sweet. Should we get started? Yes. Okay. Um, so, first what we'll do is we're going to cover the canvas just with a base layer so that the paint goes better. Um, oh man, I love black. You're so satisfying to watch. Like, it's such a good contrast. And we both happen to be wearing black today, so. Yes. <laughs> Not planned. <laughs> but it's perfect because there's so much color. Wear black, but then use lots of color to paint. Sweet. It's so nice. <laughs> There's like a face in there. So we're just going to leave this here while we prepare our other cups. So um, basically, okay, so how I make everything is I mix. Um, some paint thinner with water and then colors. Um, so here, okay. So yeah, so we'll mix it up. We have this giant tub for all the beautiful paint messes. So you mix that paint thinner and uh, paint thinner, a bit of water, and uh, the acrylic color. Okay, and what are like the proportions? Um, the ratio? My ratio. Well, you can do what you want, but like I do like this much water, this much paint thinner usually, and then a glob of paint until it looks nice. Um, okay. It's, and then that's supposed yeah. to make the paint more runnier. Uh, yeah, it'll make the paint easier to pour out. Um, there's like exact proportions online if you want to look them up. Um, I don't really use exact proportions. I kind of just see what happens <laughs> and go with it. So what would happen if you did 50% paint thinner and 50% paint? Top I top? think that would be too thick. Too thick, okay. Um, and then it takes a while to dry? It's like... Yeah, yeah, so it takes about like uh, two days to dry usually. Okay. Um, and if it's thicker, it's longer? If it's thicker, it's longer, and it could also dry plasticky, um, so you don't want to do that. And then sometimes I add silicone for extra bubbles. Mm -hmm. Like a few drops? Just a few drops, yeah. Okay. So this is what it looks like now. Then what I'll do is I'm going to pour it into two cups, just pouring all my different colors. Um, so today I'm going to use yellow. Right now we're making our mixing cups to pour our paint. Um, 
um, so we're just pouring a bunch of different colors into oh, so the nice. cup, um, and then we're going to flip cup it onto the canvas. Wow. So we got a black base here. Which is, is it uh, just regular acrylic paint, or is it acrylic paint with thinner? Black paint. It's thinner. Thinner. Okay. So everything has thinner. Everything has thinner. Excellent. Okay. All right. The big reveal. We're almost ready. I know everybody's like always the most excited about I know. the boring part. <laughs> everything else, you're like so impatient. That's part of the process. <laughs> and then it's so satisfying to just pour it. Oh. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just on one side, I'm going to just pour a little bit because I don't like to stretch my pores out too much. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, so I don't like to stretch them out too much. So I'll just do like a little bit on one side. Ooh. Oh man, look at that. Nice. Great. I'm going to move the other camera too. So we can see that. <laughs> Can you help with camera? Okay, yeah. Let's you, we'll come back and check it out later. But if you head over to our Facebook page, I just want to like go like this. And okay, all set up now we're gonna flip cup it on. Um, so it's wow. So basically, um, if you want, you can cover the entire canvas in it. I like to have some edges just dark because uh, I think it looks nicer. Um, so <laughs> that's what uh, we're going to Yo, do. Yo, that looks so crazy. And then you can even see like the silicone bubbles. Like, look at how satisfying that is. Just those bubbles. Okay. Those little cells. So we're going to let it sit for a second, um, see what cells develop, and then we're going to start tilting. Um, so the point of tilting is you want to try and tilt um, the areas that you like to get the patterns you like to come out. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tilt it this way. Don't work, man. And so every time you tilt it, you always want to bring it back to the center. So I tilted it this way, I'll bring it back to the center now. And I'll tilt a different way. So now I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna move camera for a bit just to get you in a different angle. Do this side. And then you can't worry about, um, it's okay if some of the paint runs off. Um, that's totally fine. <laughs> just looking at this just makes me want to laugh because it's so it's so nice. It's those colors. It's literally color therapy, for sure. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, Why do colors make me want to laugh so much? And I actually really like this, so I'm gonna bring it mm. this way a bit so we can extend it. Okay. So I think that's good. So now, um, what we're gonna Excellent. do is we're gonna blow torch it to try to pop some bubbles. What? Yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? So what happens when you blow torch it? So sometimes if you have extra bubbles, they'll pop. See all these bubbles popping? Whoa, look at that. And see the other colors will come out of it. So now we're bringing out some yellows. So it's coming out from underneath. Yeah. Bringing up some red. Blacks. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Let's see if we can get anything out over here. No. So yeah, and then also like as it dries, um, different colors will start to pop out and come to the surface. 
Um, hello! So yeah, you'll be able to see different things. So this one is good, so we're just gonna set it off to the side for now. Um, and do another one with our leftover paint. All right, sounds good. All right, so we'll see you. Oh, should I just leave it live stream? You can just leave it. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this going. Do we have a point? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I guess I don't know where to set this while we leave it in the bucket. Are you gonna be doing one more? Yeah, because we have so much left on the cake, so I'm just gonna do one. Let me offer it first. Maybe we could just set it on a tablecloth. Yeah, I have a tablecloth. <laughs> Hello. Here Hello. <laughs> dry. It takes about two days to dry. Just so you know. Ooh, look at these. Cool. Oh, you can see the colors already changing. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. changing a little bit. Okay. So for this canvas, I'm just Charmaine going Craig's to fine. do <laughs> um, a white background, and then we're just going to use up all of the remaining colors and see what happens. Okay, so the paint thinner, a little bit of water, but oh, we don't actually have white. Um, we are going to do a pencil wire not to like clap. What background? I guess we're just gonna do a black background. Maybe a hot pink. I already have the black pink in my mixture, so. Because you don't want to mix too, too many colors because then it gets like crazy and sometimes it'll dry. Yeah, what is that? So this is just black um, paint going into the mixture. And then we'll mix it. All right, I just want to say thank you for a lovely audience here who have come to visit us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. That's where all the noise is coming from behind me, in case you're wondering. I don't actually have like five different voices. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> okay, um, so we've got our black. Hi, Charmaine. We're just going to pour it. Ooh, so satisfying. And then also, um, don't worry if you don't get all the sides. Like sometimes what I do, if I'm doing just like a black side, I'll just go over once it's dry with just some paint and then just paint the sides after. Excellent. Okay. And mm. then, yeah, so for these, I'm just gonna mix them all into a cup and then pour it out and see what happens. So, got blue and then um, you can layer it as much as you want. The more you layer it, the more the colors tend to mix. And you also, the faster you pour, the more the colors will mix as well. So if you don't want your colors to mix as much, you gotta pour really slow onto the edge of the cup. If um, you don't want colors to mix so fast, you gotta pour slow. Okay, gotcha. And then, but you can also just do crazy things. Like you can go rah, <laughs> if you want. And it affects the in the final product? It will, yeah. Oh, you can um, do crazy it's... things too, guys. Get creative. <laughs> don't just pour the normal way. Do like a, oh, do a crazy pour. 
What's an example of a crazy pour? Well, you can just like kind of like just go around. <laughs> See, and now that oh, yeah. purple will mix um, completely with everything. That is a crazy pour. Oops. Um, and yeah, you have to like, this does get messy, so you have to be aware of that and make sure. Hello, Sasha. <laughs> Hi. Um, so yeah, so we're pouring. Um, <laughs> we just did a flip cup. And now we are going to be doing um, just like we're with the leftovers. We're just going to pour the paint on the canvas and then move it around with a straw. Sweet. So. Wow. <laughs> are you seeing this? Look at these colors. These are great. Okay. That already looks really cool. Now, um, I think I want more yellow in here. Mm hmm. So now what we can do is blow it around and see what we want to come out. I'm going to pour a little bit off this side. And yeah, really the point of the user just playing with it until you find out, like, you see what colors you like, what patterns you like, and just accentuating those. So I actually think I like this. I want to move this light blue a bit in. We'll see if we can do that. I think I like that. So now we'll just wow. torch it. That looks so trippy. Like they're already, uh, you can already see the little bubbles from the silicone, right? Those are all the silicone bubbles? Yeah. And some is just air too. Like if you mix your paint more vigorously and you don't let it sit, it's just going to introduce air bubbles into the paint and then you're just automatically going to get some of these bubbles. And this is already without the torch. It this already is has without bubbles. The torch, yeah. So now with the torch. Okay. Details. Oh, that one came out. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that came out. Yeah, it doesn't come out everywhere, so you yeah. kind of have to just play with it and see where it's going to come out. And I find this creates smaller bubbles for me, anyways. Um, so if you like smaller bubbles, it's good, but if you don't, you don't have to torch it at all. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to get. It. So now we'll leave it and let it dry. Whoa, that looks nice. Yeah. Wow, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, it's your turn, Anna. All right. <laughs> well, first of all, let's watch the process of moving a giant tub of paint because that's also <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I set it? Um, over by the bathroom or in the bathroom? <laughs> So a good note, if you're doing this at home, just think about where you're going to put your stuff. Okay, yeah, I don't need a lot of space, I just need to sit. It's strong. Yeah. All right, so that works perfectly there. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is the aftermath. We got all these cups, <laughs> all these 
How was that, Megan? Did you have fun? I did. Yes, I had very much fun playing with you guys. Nice. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up, and yeah, I can do my best to answer them. And once again, our lovely audience, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so for the next part, uh, we will be taking said picture and uh, just doing some line art with these pens and these markers. Uh, these are Posca pens. They are paint pens with acrylic, and if you open them, it's just acrylic. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm streaming you on Twitch right now, too. Oh, so are you Twitching? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm actually need to sit, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, welcome to part two. So, uh, Megan did this before and she did uh, pretty much uh, the pour and uh, she used some gold in there and you can kind of see it reflected. Um, sometimes what people like to do after is they like to do a top layer, whether it's resin to give it that uh, really nice shine or glow, or uh, just some kind of varnish. And there's lots of stuff you can use, ranging from sprays to just brushwork, just to varnish it on. Uh, but the thing is, if you do varnish it, uh, I notice Megan always says that, from a certain glare in the room, uh, it's hard to see. Yeah, so it's hard to see um, from certain angles, so you have to kind of find the perfect light. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes when these are dry, um, I just love outlining the lines and then just going through and adding some pop to it, whether it's with white paint pen or with black paint pen. But I don't know what I want today. I think I'm going to go with white, just because the sides are white. And that's pretty satisfying. And basically there are different sizes here, ranging from thicker ones to a little bit thinner. And my favorite part about lining art is just the different sizes of pens and what they could do when you do that. Take this up. Also, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, it's like those, uh, you know those when you melt uh, crayons and they like pay, go down the canvas? That's what that looks like. That's, yo, this is a really nice cup. <laughs> Keep it. Art. Keep it. That is art right here. Okay, wait for it to dry. Happy accidents, right? Yeah, happy accidents. Okay, alright, so. Um, I just basically just go from kind of where the art is flowing. The art already drew itself. You just gotta follow it. And you gotta find it when it does it. But basically the cool thing about pores is you're not really painting. The art's actually, the art's already actually just painting itself. So I bought a few paint pens. I guess this one's almost done. Let's go to a new one. Everybody loves a new pen. Yeah, yeah and then you just take your time also, if you are somebody who just has a hard time relaxing and has like many thoughts in their head, this is super meditative. Especially if you don't really think what you're doing, you just kind of like follow it. We have two phones. I was actually just wondering how you're doing two how phones. Are you yeah, I got it. Thank you. I have two hands, luckily. And we have our friend Jay here today. Holding <laughs> <laughs> up two phones. All for this moment. I didn't know All I was going to do this, moment. but sure. <laughs> I'm a really bad... Um, Let's try another camera person, so I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom and pan and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So Anna's just doing some lines right now. So this does take a little bit more patience for sure than, you know, the the, the pouring. Because pouring is like kind of instant gratification. It looks good right away. It's like that climax of pouring it. Um, but this is more of somebody who just needs to slow down a little bit. And this is a good way to do it. Especially if you notice yourself rushing or you're getting impatient. It's a good way to start to listen to your own body and just relax yourself if you are feeling impatient. 
Because really, what am I rushing for? Um, so you can make the lines thicker or thinner. I'm actually just going to go with a thicker pen first and outline all the really big lines uh, that I choose. And there's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's just basically outlining lines and leaving colors that you like. Like this part is so cool. I just want to leave that. Um, I'm not going to go around it. My hands kind of getting off the canvas here. So now it's like, what do I do with this? Life choices. So I'm just gonna make a choice and I'm just gonna go this way. And I'm not gonna look back. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. <laughs> because sometimes you go, you do a line, you're like, oh man, that's like you can't go back. You just gotta go forward now. You gotta make it work. So this hot part I'm gonna let dry. So much gold. Do you find, Anna, um, do you ever smudge your lines? Are you careful to like Oh not? my god. Yeah. I'm a chronic smudger. I have paint all over me and I just touch things all the time in my house. <laughs> my furniture is like covered with paint. I'm like, well, how did this get here? Yeah. I painted in another room. Like, there's paint on this place. <laughs> yeah, it just gets on me everywhere. You just touch stuff too, huh? <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. All right, and the best thing about this is uh, if you notice when you draw, you think too much, that you just gotta stop thinking. Cause if you think too much about what it does or where it goes, it's gonna drive you insane. And I feel art is best made when you don't think too much. I agree. When you don't think too much at all. So I'm just like, oh, there's a shape here. I'm just gonna outline it. And then in the end, if you don't like anything, you can just go over it again. But I think the good thing about drawing art or painting is uh, the process of painting is accepting the parts that you really are not as happy with or are not as satisfied with. And it's a good lesson to just accept and let things be. That's deep, Anna. Thank you. Painting makes me feel really deep, so we're drawing or outlining. You got a Bob Ross moment going on. I got a Bob Ross yeah. <laughs> Happy little clouds, <laughs> happy little vibes. <laughs> what pen is that again that you're using? Um, so this is a Posca pen. These are, uh, I got them from Amazon and they come in like a different shape, uh, sizes, but it's acrylic paint pens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, here. <laughs> acrylic paint pens. Um, and they're like, you gotta shake them and you gotta push them. Um, yeah, acrylic paint pens. I've used a lot of different pens, like from Liquitex on Amazon. And these ones I feel are the most like opaque like they don't they're not see-through it's really hard to find sharpies that are white white sharpies even though you buy a white sharpie it's not actually white Alrighty, now what do i do here maybe like this a little bit of this i like that um so it already looks like like pretty cool um i would go in after and i would go over all the lines again just to make them more white um, and we can even pull some here, but yeah, it's pretty cool because the drawing just creates itself. Um, and then another really cool trick is if you notice your painting just, if you want it to be a little bit less boring, you can go over and you can go over and make some of the lines thicker and some of the lines smaller, I mean thinner. Like this line right here. Let's make that thick. I think like the coolest thing. thing about this too is you can see almost whatever you want to see. Yeah, you literally can. Yeah. Like right now I see like the sun and like <laughs> some water or something. Yeah. Maybe like a rock in the background. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's like a reflection of your psyche, I guess. Yeah. What is that test? Oh, that's like the Rorschach. Rorschach, yeah. yeah, where you see like whether it's a butterfly or like mm -hmm. a bean in your face. It depends on how you feel. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I'm just going to leave that for now because the next step would be to go over the white lines again uh, to add more detail, but what I would do next is you just take a thinner pen and start adding a thinner, smaller lines. So perhaps like this. Okay, 
and it makes a big difference to have that contrast between thinner and thicker lines. And you can add circles inside, but it's still basically just following the art. Yeah, there's a lot of you guys here. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, this, is, this has turned out totally different than what I imagined. So. <laughs> so yeah, thank you to everybody here. Thank you, guys. It's like an LSI party up in here. <laughs> Man, I love like weird googly lines. This is so cool. And, and you like the cells in the painting, yeah. right? I love the cells, they're like, yeah. Um, so I would maybe go like that. And having a really thick line and a really thin line beside it is also just aesthetically appeasing. Thanks. And if you really like painting or doing line art, it just takes a little bit of practice just to get your hand. And then you can maybe connect this one. Man, my pens are like camera shy, so these are all new. They work fine at home, but here they're just nervous. <laughs> So I am going over it quite fast, just because I do want to show you where I would put the lines in, kind of like a rough draft. But when I go over uh, it a second time, I would just take my time going over the lines. So this part would be like perfectly opaque. Like that. So Megan, what kind of other art do you like watching um, online or watching people do? So there's pouring art. Oh, I pretty much watch pouring art. I love watching pouring art. Um, it's so mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah. I also really like um, a lot of resin art. I haven't tried it yet, um, but we want to eventually get into it, hopefully. It's safe to do at home now. Yeah. Like, you can do resin at home now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so eventually I want to learn how to do like resin on top of a pour um, because it creates like a really nice um, gloss without I think being too glossy so you're able to see it better. Um, so I want to try that. And also just getting into painting clouds. I really like painting <laughs> clouds so I want to do more of that too. Yeah, um, yeah that'd be nice. Like yeah. skies. Skies. Yeah. I've been really into like sunsets or sunrises but mm. with forests and trees. <laughs> Those are fun. Yeah, or like nature art, like leaves. Like mm -hmm. I painted a leaf and that was a beautiful, High, beautiful. Up close, yeah. right? Yeah, I really like um, like greens and yellows. Um, blues. Yeah. So I would say this is like, the next thing you would do is, and yeah, my pens are, definitely gotta check out the pens next time. But I would just continue, you can make it as in-depth as you like, you can just continue added lines, or if you like this, because you really like the pour underneath, you can just leave it at that. Like, I think with these pores, they're so nice underneath, you don't actually need a lot. Um, so yeah. I'm going to stop it here, because my pens are running out, but uh, you can either keep on going, or you can just stop and maybe make some of the lines uh, thicker, so it's more white. And then if you really want the shine, you can just do a varnish, like a spray, or uh, there's a varnish, Liquitex varnish, you just put it on and use one of those foam brushes. Oh yeah, the foam brushes. brushes. Wet the foam brush though, or it won't spread well, so you have to wet it first. Yeah. And then spread it. And then air bubbles? Do you get air bubbles? Um, I usually don't get air bubbles, so, mm. but... Okay. Sweet. Uh, well, yeah, I, do you have anything else that you wanted to do? I think we're good. Alright, me too. Thank you for checking in yes. to the Megan Anna painting show. Yay. And thank you everybody for coming. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. Good job, yeah. guys. Okay. Want me to send it? Uh, you can press finish bottom right. Okay.